if you've been working in Civil 3D for any amount of time and ever had to deal with any data from a third party source, other drawings from a sub, uh, databases, files that were converted from other softwares, you more than likely have had to deal or struggle with units and unit conversions at least once. So in this video, let's go through it and let's focus on points, survey points, because it's relatively easy to go through and talk about how we work with different types of units and what the software does. So in Civil 3D, there's two primary areas you need to keep up with units. The first one is the drawing unit, and the second are the insertion units. You can get to the drawing units by going to your tool space in your settings. And up here is the name of your drawing. I'm in master view. I can right click on this and I can go to drawing settings. You can also get to the same dialog box by clicking the Civil 3D icon, going to Drawing Utilities and Drawing Settings. In here, under the Units and Zones, you will see that you have two options, feet and meters. Pretty straightforward, using feet or meters. But we, all of us in the, over here on this side of the pond, know that, regrettably, there are two types of foots. There is U.S. Survey feet and there's International feet. So you need to make sure that this is set in what you want it to be and keep that in mind. Two things, other things that you need to keep track of is whether you want to scale objects inserted from other drawings and whether you want to set AutoCAD variables to match. And we'll leave these unchecked for the moment so that you can see what happens. So we're going to leave this at feet and US feet. Now, if I come up here to the big C, go to drawing utilities and go to units, I can see here I have insertion units and it's set to unit list. This controls the measurements and how blocks, next refs, and things are brought in that may have different units. So if this is set, it will do the transformation calculations to bring stuff in to, from whatever it is, to US feet, meters, whatever. It's recommended to keep it on unit list, but sometimes you may have to tweak this to bring in that data. I'm going to leave it on unit list and we're going to do a demonstration here so you can see what will happen. For this video I have two CSV files that have that are the exact same points uh, coordinates. I just changed the numbers so we won't end up with duplicate point numbers and we're going to bring them in and see how they move around. There are two ways of bringing two primary ways of bringing in survey data or points into a drawing the classic insert, and then utilizing survey databases. Now remember that we have our drawing at feet, US feet, and I have these unchecked. So if I click the insert button here, navigate to our Kogo, choose the appropriate format, and hit OK, it'll bring those points in. And here's some points. Whenever you bring points in, it is best practice to always confirm that they are where they're supposed to be. So rather than doing properties dialog, I'm just going to annotate it real fast so everyone can see it on the video. So there's the coordinate in my drawing for 40,001. So let's open that text file. Do a little, make some room here and drag this over. And we can see that 427805 and 613134. So this came in where it is supposed to be, which is what everyone wants it to be. Now let's see if I can make it not work. So you would think, since I brought this in on the US feet, it would be wrong if I changed it to international. Well, let's check and let's see. So let's, let's just uh, select all objects and delete. Let's change our drawing settings to international feet and repeat that process. Go, go, open. Oops, because I have it open. Let me close it. Okay. Add it four two seven six one three 
the exact same. Well, I just changed units. Why is that the case? Well, this is inserting a dumb CSV file. There is no metadata associated with the CSV. It's just straight coordinates. So it's going to bring it in the coordinate that is in the file, it, whatever units you may have. It would have brought this in at meters if I had set the drawing to meters. Well, that's all fine and good, right? So if it was an international feat and I got started, there's not a big problem. Well, maybe. Well, I told you about the second place called insertion units. What happens if I insert those? So I want to mark that and leave this label. And let's go over here to our insertion units and change our insertion units to um, feet, which is international feet. But let's change our drawing to US feet. So now we've got two different types of units. Our drawings in US feet, but our insertion units are in the other. So let's insert these points again and see if they come in the same spot. And I am going to overwrite all of them. Came in the exact same spot. What the heck? Well, like I said, that's a Kogo file. And it is uh, a dumb Kogo file. So this does not affect anything. It doesn't know what units it's supposed to be. So it automatically brings it in in the drawing units. So you're pretty much okay inserting point files in here as long as you're not have something drastic like meters, which we know is three times the diff three times different than feet. So if you got feet and international feet and you're inserting Kogo points this way, you're pretty safe. Now let's look at survey databases. So let me select similar. Actually, let's leave them open so that we can get back to bare bones. Let's change this back to unit unitless. Now we're back to where we were. Where so our drawings in U.S. survey feet and our insertion units are uh, unitless. I'm going to go to survey, and I've already got a survey database set here. I'm going to right click on this survey database and edit its settings and see that it is an international feat. Well, let's start with US feet since that's what we've got our drawing set at. This time I'm going to import some survey data. I want to insert that second file, which is the exact same, but just so that we can have two different points uh, names here to see. And I'm going to hit next, next, and finish. And I want to insert it to the drawing. If I zoom in here, I can see that those two points are directly on top of each other. So we're golden. Well, what happens if it's in a different unit? So I've already got that imported. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to change the settings. I'm going to change it to international feet. Hit OK. And I'm going to reinsert this. And it's right on top of each other. What happened? The conversion of units in the survey database happens when you import it in. So whatever settings were on the database at the time of the import into the database affects the points. So here's our point that we were looking at uh, right here. So we're, we're it actually shows it as converted. See this? I'm not entirely sure why it would show it different here, but it inserts it. But it inserts it at its original location regardless if you change them. But if I remove that, and I now that this database is set to international feet and I re import it, And I insert. I see that it put it in its new projected coordinate, so it is in the wrong spot. Now it put it here because the drawing is in US feet and the database is in international feet. So in order to have data not be translated or scaled, because it's scaled about the origin. That's the origin of the coordinates. So it's farther, the higher your coordinates from zero, the more the uh, difference will be. 
In order for that not to occur, you need to ensure that your database and your drawing are on the same units. It doesn't have anything to do with the insertion unit. It is the drawing units. So if I come back over here, I'm going to see that I was on US survey feet. If I do international feet, put you back. We're going to see the same thing. I'm going to remove from drawing and reinsert. I'm going to come right back in at the wrong spot again. Whoop, it brought it in at the right spot. So you see that? Because now my draw they match. So if the drawing does not match the database, it will translate the data. You can see here the coordinate system did not translate. But if I come over here and, uh, whoops, change the drawing back, still not translated, but I will reinsert into drawing. It's moved. Very really convoluted and confusing. But basically, make sure your drawing and your survey database are in the same coordinate system or, or unit system. And make sure that the um, coordinate system is set correctly and you have no transformations. And Kogo insertions does not seem to be affected at all because the CSV is a dumb unit. That's it for this video. If you found this helpful, or maybe even a little confusing, um, if you still feel like clicking the like button, please do. Feel free to subscribe.